In the depths of the ocean, where darkness reigns and pressure mounts to unimaginable levels, lies a world of extreme technology and unparalleled engineering prowess, the realm of submarines. These underwater vessels, often shrouded in secrecy and mystery, represent the pinnacle of human innovation and ingenuity in the pursuit of exploration, defense, and scientific discovery. Submarines have long captured the imagination of humanity, embodying the essence of adventure and pushing the boundaries of what is technologically possible. From their humble beginnings as primitive submersibles to the awe-inspiring marvels of modern engineering, submarines have evolved into sophisticated machines capable of navigating the most hostile environments on Earth. We will explore the fascinating world of submarines, exploring the evolution of their design, the cutting-edge technologies that power them, and the pivotal role they play in shaping the course of history. From nuclear-powered behemoths capable of traversing the vast expanses of the ocean for months on end to sleek and stealthy attack submarines equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry, we will uncover the secrets behind these extraordinary vessels and the men and women who operate them. But the allure of submarines extends far beyond their military applications. These underwater giants are also instrumental in scientific research, ocean exploration, and environmental conservation efforts. From studying marine life in their natural habitat to mapping the ocean floor with unparalleled precision, submarines provide scientists with invaluable insights into the hidden depths of our planet. The depths of the ocean, where technology knows no bounds and the pursuit of knowledge knows no limits. From the towering giants of the nuclear age to the sleek predators of the modern era, submarines continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, reminding us that in the realm of extreme technology, bigger truly is better. The USS Pennsylvania, the largest submarine in the US Navy, is the result of over 200 years of engineering evolution. Its existence is a result of six key stages in the development of submarine technology each with a technological innovation that enabled submarines to grow in size. The USS Pennsylvania is the most lethal weapon ever designed and can run for 20 years without refueling. The USS Pennsylvania was built in 1776 as the world's first war submarine, a hollow wooden sphere with a limited air supply. During the American War of Independence, the Americans found themselves at a severe disadvantage so they devised a plan that relied on guile rather than brute force. They built their craft from two hollowed out pieces of solid oak, using iron hoops to hold the two halves together and sealing the joint with tar to keep the water out. A tank sat below the operator, and when he pumped it full of seawater, the craft sank hidden underwater. Jaunty Powis commanded a nuclear-powered submarine for the Royal Navy, which is a reproduction of the USS Pennsylvania. The submarine is cramped inside and has a limited air supply, making it difficult for the crew to survive underwater. To test this, physiologist Dr. Kevin Fong experimented using a sealed box containing the same volume of air as the USS Pennsylvania. The crew needs 12 cubic meters of air daily to stay alive, and even in a vessel as roomy as the USS Pennsylvania, they would run out of air after just seven days. The air supply on submarines comes from traveling in seawater through electricity, splitting the substance into hydrogen and oxygen. Chemist Andrew Shidlow demonstrates how this works, using an apparatus to collect oxygen and reignite a glowing splint. The oxygen generator, nicknamed Paris after the Hilton sisters, produces over 4,000 liters of oxygen every hour, replenishing stale air and circulating it around the vessel. In 1776, a man in a barrel proved that even the mightiest battleship was vulnerable to attack from beneath the waves. Engineers built a 13-meter-long H.L. Hunley to exploit this weakness. During the American Civil War, engineers invented an underwater weapon called a spa torpedo, a barrel of gunpowder sitting on a spike pole at the front of a submarine. This bomb packed a punch, but guiding it onto a target and withdrawing the submarine to safety was fraught with difficulty. Submarines had to think outside the box when they first built them, using the fins of a fish to control their depth and angle of attack. The Confederate engineers used this technology on an unsuspecting Yankee warship sinking it. This was a great leap forward in submarine design, as it allowed for precise control in course and depth to deliver an underwater weapon to the most vulnerable part of a surface ship and sink it. 
The Pennsylvania Navy's submarines, such as the U-66 and CRS-7, were designed to attack Allied shipping from a distance during World War II. The U-66 was equipped with fairwater planes that controlled depth and angle, allowing operators to move the submarine up and down in the water. However, the U-66 had a fatal flaw. It left a telltale trail of bubbles when launched, making it easy to see it coming. To address this, the German Navy designed a torpedo that wouldn't advertise its position with a wake of bubbles. This new torpedo worked off a small electric motor, but needed an enormous battery to power it. The U-66 was over 7 meters long and carried 22 torpedoes, resulting in the 77-meter-long U-66. Torpedo warfare has scaled new heights, with the Pennsylvania's Mark 48 torpedoes being not limited to firing in a straight line. High-tech robots can be guided onto their target, allowing them to fire in a straight line. In 1943, the U-66 could attack multiple targets without returning to base and rear. However, its thirsty engines soon ran out of fuel, forcing engineers working on the larger USS Nautilus to find a new source of power. In 1945, American scientists attempted to harness the colossal energy released by the splitting of an atom to power their new submarine. They fitted a nuclear reactor with a nuclear reactor, breaking down uranium and generating steam. This steam shot through a series of turbines, forcing blades to rotate at high speed, driving the propellers. In 1954, the USS Nautilus was the world's first nuclear-powered submarine capable of traveling 100,000 kilometers on just four kilograms of uranium fuel. This groundbreaking submarine had limited firepower and could only operate anywhere in the world. The secret was a seal that prevents water from flooding into the launch tube. When the missile hatch opened, a burst of compressed air was shot into the bottom of the launch tube, forcing the missile out at over 50 miles an hour. Once in the air, its rockets could ignite the USS George Washington armed with 16 new Polaris missiles, each 40 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. These missiles effectively prevented warfare by being so destructive that the concept of warfare between nations who owned them. In 1960, the USS George Washington was equipped to deliver a nuclear holocaust, but the enemy could still detect her presence. Engineers must build bigger submarines and make them invisible in the depths of the ocean. The submarine's primary mission is to remain at sea undetected, and its decks, equipment, running machines, and hand dryers are insulated with rubber shock absorbers to minimize noise. The submarine's propeller design is a closely guarded secret, but the basic principles of a quiet running propeller are known. Cavitation occurs when a propeller spins quickly, causing water to boil without heating up and producing steam bubbles. The submarine's engineers developed a unique propeller with four additional specially shaped blades, generating large amounts of thrust, but producing almost no cavitation or propeller noise. After 75 days at sea, the submarine glides quietly back to base. It is the largest Western submarine 20 years after its launch, and that will not change unless someone constructs an even larger one. If you like this video, then don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to our channel.